so hello students after a long time i'm coming back again sorry could not get time to make video solutions but i'll try from now on okay. by the way let's get on with this problem uh, this is a request uh, to solve a problem for pathfinder for olympiads and je advanced physics topic newton's law uh, this is from newton's laws of motion section is check your understanding question number 23 yeah uh, just you can read this problem that a cylinder is being pulled slowly with the help of long uniform rope lying on horizontal floor as shown pulling force applied at end a is adjusted so that length bc of the rope uh, uh, of uh, rope touching the cylinder always subtends angle some theta at the center of the cylinder and length of the hanging portion cd Uh, always remains half of the length de so first we have i have considered let mass of the part d be m and mass of the part cd be half m obviously it is half the length means half the mass then i think you should consider only these two parts of the diagram that will be enough see this this part bc consider this part b uh, sorry not bc that's also not required consider part cd and consider part d that will that will be enough so in this diagram i have considered uh, this part from a to b b to c c to d and d to e four parts but what we need is actually uh, concentrating on uh, this portion this portion this is c to d and this is the horizontal portion d to e okay let me name it c to d this one and this is uh, d to e now uh, as you know e is the free end so tension at the free end is zero now tension at d b f2 tension at d is equal to f2 and tension at c is equal to f1 now say a little bit of geometry here a little bit of geometry you see this portion okay this if you draw these lines then you know that this part is theta i mean the uh, uh, the angle made by the tangent at c makes angle theta with horizontal okay that is simple geometry you can do that now uh, let us consider free body diagram of this part cd and part de now so equation 1 see uh, this equation 1 here you get say tension at c is f1 that makes angle theta with horizontal and tension at uh, d is f2 that is horizontal now f1 sin theta that means a vertical component of f1 is f1 sin theta here it will be the vertical component of f1 i have not shown here so that's vertical component of f1 and this is the horizontal component of f1 so this f1 sin theta and that is f1 cosine theta so f1 sin theta is equal to half mg that means so weight of the part of the rope cd and f1 cos theta equal to f2 that's also balancing the forces along horizontal direction so this uh, from this you get these two equations now let Uh, let us look at the part d e so in part d you have the weight is equal to mg so normal reaction also mg so as it is sliding over ground so the friction is mu mg and the force here is f2 so f2 is equal to mu mg obviously f2 is equal to mu mg now uh, divide 1 by 2 and uh, by 2 actually uh, what you are doing that uh, This two is actually equal to if you substitute f two as mu mg, so f one cos theta uh, happens to be equal to mu mg. So that is say equation uh, four. So actually you are dividing one by four. One by four you get tan theta is equal to one by two mu. So mu is equal to cot theta by two. So that's it. Uh, 